Tuesday morning here and I am back from Jamberry Conference. I am headed to the eye doctor right now to have a visual acuity test done. And I'm having that done because I had some eye problems um, diagnosed last year. Uh, I don't have the kids with me. My brother-in-law um, is here to visit for the week. Um, he is 14 and is staying with the kids for about an hour while I go get this done. But um, anyways, I had um, some vision problems diagnosed last year. Uh, I went into the eye doctor a little over a year ago and my eye pressures were abnormally high. And I can't remember exactly what they were, but they were they were fairly high, like pretty far without, pretty far um, away from normal range. And so um, my eye doctor also saw a whole bunch of pigment flaking off the back of my eye. I guess that's normal for everybody, and that's why to have some pigment flake off, because, and that's why your eyes get lighter as you get older, because you have some of that color flaking off. Because my eye pressures were so high, and because that pigment was flaking off, he decided to have me come in a few more times um, to do a visual acuity test like a year ago, and to also check my eye pressures again. Um, I went back in, got my eye pressures checked. They were a little bit lower, but still um, really without really out of normal range. I kind of wondered if running was contributing to it and so there was one day that I did a really long run and then um, went in and had the pressures checked and they were still about the same, not higher, but about the same. So um, I had a visual acuity t test done last year and um, I have lost a little bit of the perif a little bit of peripheral vision in my right eye. Um, not a significant amount that I would notice, but just a little bit. And the reason that that happens is because the pigment flaking off the back of your eye, also known as pigment dispersion, dispersion syndrome, it actually, because there's so much flaking, it um, comes down and gets stuck in the area, and I don't know the medical terms for this, but it gets stuck in the area where your eye drains. And so, it causes um, pressure on the optic nerve it has and pressures go up and it can actually um, cause you to lose sight and result in glaucoma so um, early stages of glaucoma because of this per, uh, pigment dispersion syndrome we've kind of been watching my pressures and I'm going in for another visual acuity test um, in a few months I'll actually go in to check the um, the thickness of my retina and I guess that can also be very telling so we've just been watching it um, a few options <clears throat> I'm not on eye drops right now but my eye doctor talked about possibly putting me on an eye drop um, another thing that we've talked about is possibly doing surgery and um, in essence kind of uh, lasering that um, duct I don't know if it's a duct that area open where your eye drains, where that pigment is getting um, caught. And so it was really scary to me at first when I first learned about it last year. And I've kind of realized that um, the best thing that I could have done is get my yearly checkups and to um, stay on top of it and keep going in. So I haven't had a visual acuity test for a little while and I'm headed in for that. And yeah, so you've probably heard a little bit about glaucoma, but maybe not uh, pigment dispersion syndrome. So yeah, kind of interesting. I had never heard of it before, and I'm definitely a lot more aware of it now, and I've done a ton of reading on it. So um, yeah, I'll be doing that, and um, I'll let you know how my appointment goes. I'm done with the doctor and eye doctor and eye pressures look great today actually they were actually lower than they've been um, the visual acuity test I had a little bit of loss in my right peripheral um, eye but he said that could be just how I'm taking the test um, that I'll continue taking it and maybe it'll get better or it could be permanent loss um, I'm going back like I said in four months for another follow-up um, at that follow-up they will do the retina thickness and we will do eye pressures again and the acuity test again and yeah don't take things for granted especially like your vision and being able to see so it's made me a lot more aware and if you haven't gotten an eye exam um, this is your reminder to go get one and that you should get them yearly so I am at the mail right now I'm gonna drop off a bunch of Jamberry mail and head home and um, be with my kiddos because I haven't hardly seen them. Oh, I'm trying to get a few things done. 
And this is what the kids are doing. So there's Parker. Parker, say hi. hi. He was our babysitter. It was his first time babysitting. You did great, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, right? No, it wasn't. So they're all playing Minecraft together. And then Nova's watching Color Crew. What are you watching? Say color. Oh, I got, I got. Color Crew on Netflix. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Whoa. Gotta get home. The boys haven't played electronics in over two weeks. So they're probably thrilled. <laughs> I got some work done and kids played iPad with Parker for a while and um, they're outside playing now. I noticed when I got home from conference that um, my wee little garden that I've actually got some veggies growing. So I noticed like a, a good sized zucchini here and there's actually a couple of zucchini and then I think I've got a squash starting here. Um, Marshall stepped on a one of the pipes and broke something for the sprinkler system so I need to actually come out and water these. And then my pumpkins aren't doing so well. I don't think we're going to be getting a pumpkin this year. I don't exactly have a green thumb but we probably should come out and weed. Not the best at gardening. Are you all minecrafted out? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. How long does it take you to make a bracelet like the one you made that Chandler's wearing? 10 minutes maybe. Oh really? That fast? Wow. So why are they called survivor, survival bracelets? Because like when you're in the, in the wild, you're like you're trying to survive. In like a new bracelet, you have like 10 feet of cord. Oh, very cool. That's a great idea. So where did you learn to make them? I had this book, looked it up online, a whole bunch of friends taught me how. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Do you know how much mommy missed you while I was gone? Do you? I missed your cute face and you got bigger in like three days. Guess what? Next year Jamcom is in Disney World. I bet you will like Disney World next year. You'll be almost three and into princesses, huh? Yeah. Who do you like right now? Do you like Minnie Mouse? Minnie Mouse? Minnie. Minnie Mouse, huh? Can you say Minnie? Mimi. Mimi. Would you like to see Minnie next year? A real big Minnie? What? You just squirted orange juice everywhere. <laughs> That was pretty funny, huh? Did you miss Mama while I was gone? Yeah? Hey little dude, did you miss me while I was gone? No. You didn't miss me? That makes my heart sad. Not, not really. You didn't? Not really, really like this. I miss you like one. <laughs> Tom, did you miss me while I was gone? You were gone? No, when I went to conference, did you miss me? Yeah, yeah I did. How much? 100%. Yeah, I can tell. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing dinner tonight, just uh, burritos, tacos, taco salad, whatever everybody wanted to do. We just had all the fixings for it. How's your dinner? Are you about done? The tomatoes. Cheese, hamburger beans. Hey, can you say park? Where's Parker? Say park. Bank. Say aye aye. Aye aye. Aye aye, Captain. So tonight, tell us what you're gonna do tonight. What happened with the sprinkling system? I jumped on a PVC pipe and snapped it and started spraying water everywhere. So I had to shut off the water source to our sprinkling system. I went and um, watered the garden. Did you see that we've got zucchini? Oh, really? We've got a couple of zucchini. We've got a squash growing. I don't know if anything else is going to grow, but. Apple. I also wonder, no, do, you know, do you know how much bigger the apples are supposed to get? Or are they just going to stay small? They don't taste that bad. They probably need another week or two, probably two weeks. So oh. Nova goes out and takes off all the ones that she can grab. Much bigger, though. Yeah, they're pretty small. Mew. 
Hi. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's our exciting night. Hi. I asked the boys if they missed me while I was gone to the conference and they said no. Made me feel bad. But she missed me. You missed mama, huh? I said 500% of missing you. Rowan told me he didn't miss me at all. Parker missed me, huh? Yeah. Parker's like, how can I miss you? You live a state away. You live in a different state. Like, I missed you at home. I know. That's pretty funny. I said. To learn some facts.